I encourage people to be careful when you're trying to get justice, especially when you're on the on the move and you got boots on the ground trying to do it yourself. Be careful. Be mindful of the laws. But in this case, I'm very, very thankful that these people were proactive to get this criminal off our streets. But before we get into the details of talking about him and what he's done, let me give you guys a disclaimer about this content in this channel. Some viewers may find the following content offensive and controversial. The information in this video comes from multiple sources, including court records, official police charges, news web articles, and interviews. This video commentary also contains my personal opinions about the facts of this story. The point is to use this story as a cautionary tale in hopes of preventing tragedies like these to children going forward. Viewer discretion is advised. That is your official disclaimer. And we're getting this story from LaurenCrime.com. So I love them for their articles. Thank you for the article. Two women who persistently posted on social media asking for help locating their father. Locating their father. Accused of sexually assaulting two children so he could face justice finally got their wish on Sunday night. Now that's got to take some strength in order to advocate against your own biological father. And I salute these queens for that. That is, that is real, real strength. Polk County Sheriff, so of course that's in Florida. <clears throat> Sheriff's deputies arrested 51-year-old Davey Alboran on Sunday night in Lakeland, Florida. Sheriff Grady Judd said in a video posted to Facebook. Judd said deputies got a tip that he was at a home on County Haven Drive and deputies took him into custody. It might have been Country Haven Drive, but it, wasn't, it was not Haven for him, Judge Quip. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office in December 22 issued a, 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 an arrest warrant for Alboran for two counts of sexual battery on a child. Taking away a child's innocence, Osceola Sheriff Marcos Lopez said at the time, he's a sick guy. The case has gained notoriety on, online thanks to a large part of Alboran's two daughters. Anna had been posting for over a year, urging anyone with the information to turn her father in. The post led to Davey Alboran's case being featured on an episode of America's Most Wanted. His daughter said they wanted their father in jail to bring justice for his victims. Anna posted a separatory post, TikTok titled, We, we did it. We effing did it. So she was very, very excited following the arrest. We did it, guys. My father's in jail after a freaking year, she said while holding back tears. Just thank you. Because if it wasn't for y'all, he would have never been found. Anna, who is now in her 30s, said in an interview with local Fox affiliate WOFL that her father also acted inappropriately with her when she was young. After she posted about her father's case, she said several other potential victims came forward. The mentality doesn't change. It just needs to be punished. Remember I said that. Polk County deputies said Alvaran initially claimed that his name was Jose Rodriguez, but they identified him through his driver's license photo. A probable cause affidavit uh, said he also allegedly owes over a hundred thousand dollars in child support in a case out of Orange County, Florida. Like, why does that part even matter? But they wanted to put that in there anyway. Deputies took Alvaran to the Polk County jail where he's awaiting extradition to Osceola County. Let me give you guys the fair usage. Here we go. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. Please hit that thumbs up, share this story, leave a comment. Here we go, let's get into this. Hello everyone, it's time for Morning Briefing and Broadway Diner gave me this cup. I thought it'd be appropriate to drink from it today since they put my name on it with the American flag and it is President's Day. No, I'm not the president. I don't want to be the president, but I sure like being your sheriff. Drinking coffee and talking about bad guys. But you ought to drop in on the Broadway Diner and tell them Grady sent you. Well. 
There's someone else that made a mistake. You see, they came to Polk County. America's Most Wanted in December of 2022 ran a piece on Davy Alboran. That's right. He's 51 years of age. Osceola County has warrants out for his arrest for sexual battery on a child under 12 and lewd conduct with a child under 12. He also is not paying child support on a totally different issue in Orange County. Well, he made a mistake. You see, AMW ran him all over the nation and he came to Lakeland. When he came to Lakeland, we received confidential information because my deputies who you know I like to talk about are the very best, have contacts all over this county and they said, hey, we know where this dude is. So we snuck around Sunday night just before midnight in the backyard in Country Haven Drive. Well, it might have been Country Haven Drive, but it was no haven for him. And all of a sudden, noise broke the silence of the night. And that's when we located O'Davy. And he told us his name was Jose. Can you believe that? Not only has he committed capital sexual battery on a child, he lies to the sheriff's office. But we've got him locked up in jail where he belongs. Yep, of all the places in the world he could have gone, Lakeland was the wrong one. Y'all have a good day. Welcome back, 744 Now. A man featured on America's Most Wanted was arrested in Polk County. Davey Alboran was wanted out of Osceola County for sexual battery on a child under 12. And as you just heard a short time ago, it was his own adult daughters who were leading the fight to find him. Joining us this morning, Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd. Great to have you with us, Sheriff. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, it's very good to be with you this morning. Sheriff Judd, these daughters, I mean, God bless them. They went above and beyond to try to make sure that their dad was captured. What are your thoughts on what they have gone through over the last year and a half trying to make sure that this happened? Well, I appreciate their efforts. In fact, it took everyone working together. He was hiding from law enforcement. My friend, Sheriff Lopez, and his team did an outstanding job and got warrants, capital felony warrants. This guy needs to be in prison the rest of his life and never breathe air outside of prison. But how did that happen? It happened when we got a tip. And it was from the daughters. Now, we normally don't give up who the tipsters are, but since they've outed themselves, then we don't mind confirming that. So we snuck into Country Haven, where this guy was having a haven away from law enforcement, and we surrounded a house. It was late Sunday night, and we heard this silence. And then we heard noise. And our deputy said to their self, self, that sounds like someone trying to hide in a shed. And that's exactly what our canine and our deputies found. We found Alboran hiding in the shed and he told us his name was Jose. Well, he didn't look like Jose to us, but once we ran the fingerprint scanner on it, he, conf he, he confessed to us. He said, yep, that's me. You got me finally. So America's most wanted, was locked up because he made a mistake. He sought haven in Polk County, and we gave him haven in the Polk County Jail. Sheriff, the crimes that he is accused of uh, are pretty horrific, and I think that is probably why his children, his daughters, were so uh, you know, insistent on his capture. Well, absolutely. Anytime you sexually batter a child under 12 years of age, and there's two warrants for two different events, it doesn't get any worse than that. He's a pedophile. He's a child molester. He's the worst of the worst. And I applaud his adult daughters for working with us to capture him. And what about America's Most Wanted? Obviously, the, the case was featured on that show, and you guys highlighted that in your post when you put out that he was arrested yesterday. I, I'm sure you appreciate the efforts of shows like this. 
Absolutely, because the more transparency you have and the more light you have on bad guys, the less places they can hide. And he can run, but he can't hide whenever we're looking for him across the nation. And it's not just law enforcement. It's wonderful citizens like these young ladies. When the community works with us, we keep the community safe. If you see something or hear something, say something. You and I promise you guys, I really, truly believe that Sheriff Grady Judd has seen our channel. I, I hope he one day gives us a shout out because I give him a shout out all the time on our channel. Probably just like a lot of people around the country do. But I think that we've used that mantra longer than anybody has on our channel. Five years now. If you see something, say something. I'm glad he said that. I, I actually want to hear him say it again. Let me back that up just law enforcement it's wonderful citizens like these young ladies when the community works with us we keep the community safe if you see something or hear something say something you don't have to get involved you don't have to come out publicly no one ever has to know who you are and this is an example of how we catch bad guys when people in the community work with us well we certainly appreciate your efforts and uh, we definitely appreciate you taking the time to join us of course, I'm going to post pictures of the people that have been harboring the man who has been hurting children over 20 kids, some of which they know this woman walked in on him doing it and then walked out and did nothing but make a little joke about it. This is Madeline Albrand. Take a good look. Don't leave your kids around her. And if you have left your kids around her, please ask them if anything has ever happened to them. This is Olga and Jasmine, real Christian, um, harboring a man that has hurt over 20 kids, harboring a man that bought a child, that bought a four-year-old. Yeah, that's them. Take a good look because we have proof. Also, she's part of the slingshot stuff. If you have ever bought a cup from her, that was how my father made money. He would make the cups and then they would sell them at these events. So if you bought one, that one was made by my dad. Please do not help my father. If you are friends with them, please do not help them. Don't let this be you over my dad. My dad has hurt kids. You really want to go to jail be over a man that will like hurt your own child? If he'll hurt his own grandkids, you think he won't hurt yours? You think for a second he wouldn't hurt? Oh, I hate y'all. I cannot wait to see your mugshot. I have been waiting for this moment for over a year and I was right about everything. Everything I told the cops I was right. Um, I was trying not to make a video about you, but since you keep telling everybody that uh, Daisy's lying, um, you can. <laughs> um, so he's been helping him. Also, my father has been going by the name Max. So if you hear any of them talking about their brother Max, that's my dad. He's been going by Max Alberin. May you have the life you deserve after this. Because I got you. And so do the cops. And they're going to come for you. Get your stuff in order. You have got to respect her stance. That's strength right there. Standing on principle, standing on what's right, and standing up for children. Even knowing that something happened to her, but to stand against your own father, I think that is a real strength right there. That man is a piece of crap, and I hope he does a permanent be in life in prison. He never needs to be out in society again. Let me know what you guys think, and shout out to those to those daughters of his and those children keep them in your prayers okay but let me know what you guys think about this story